Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to the stream. It is Saturday night. We are going to carry on playing through Infinity Factory. Um, hopefully finishing off the Overlord uh, missions tonight. Would be uh, really nice if we can manage that. And hopefully we won't have a factory which takes us the best part of two hours or more to uh, get <laughs> Mr. Tiny Warhols. <laughs> oh, Aaron. Errand, errand, errand. Yep. That's why the randomizer wasn't as much as, as good as it was cracked up to be. Anywho, let's go back to the barracks because we have missed. We have missed one. We need to go to this one. And um, yeah, I did. To in, in my defence, I did kind of. I did kind of. Um, I did kind of say to you uh, a few days ago, I think it was, or when I was actually doing it at the time, about, I don't know if I actually like it or not, so, hey, maybe I should have taken something from my own uh, advice. Anyway, onwards we go. Can't dwell about these things. I have no idea what I'm meant to be doing here. Am I meant to be like getting rid of everything about from the last? No, I'm not blaming you. Don't be, don't be silly. Don't be silly. I think this is meant to be a whale as well. I have a funny feeling it's meant to be a whale of some description. Um, but I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing. Oh, we got some. We got some whale blubber there. What if I was to take out the bottom stuff as well? There's no real. <laughs> it's all good, buddy. Don't worry about it. This is why I am yet to release anything after 300 hours of hammer work. This is so, like, undescriptive, though, as to what I am meant to be doing. I mean, I'm guessing... I'm guessing... But it's my phone. What's my phone doing? Go away. Um, I have a funny feeling. I don't know what I don't know what my funny feeling is at all. Other than that's lagging the hell out of my game. <laughs> What's going on, TG? All right, so maybe instead. We do something like to no vertical grinders. Shit. I guess not. It's 
Where did that fall? I fall because of that. So I do that. That's a very good question, Aaron. I don't know. I've got to make two different types of product. A red and a white. Uh, a red and a blue. So, I, I mean, I guess I've got to kind of isolate, like, the inner side of this. This poor defenseless whale that we're macerating to glory. I mean, this would be my, like, this would be like my gut instinct, but... Okay. It does kind of work. Um, because I sent my latest VMF over to Aaron and apparently um, I done did something wrong with my um, stuff. And now he chooses to ridicule me for the rest of eternity because of it. That's why he's going on about tiny buttholes. So, I do this, right? So my feeling is I think I've got to like trim out Do I need the white meat? Maybe? Uh, I won't get any leaks, I've got the cordon I've I've got the cordon on. That's why I don't get no leaks. I assume anyway. So I macerated to that. I think I want one here as well. And then I, if I send it this way, I can then start to... Oh. Stop! Jeez. Uh, the cordon, so you don't have to freaking uh, f worry about filling your map, map and stuff. You know what I mean. Surely. Take it one earlier. I 
Okay. And then I do... Macerators here again. Uh, it's entirely up to you, buddy. That seems a bit overkill, but... Just like Mr. Muscle, it does the jobs I hate, so... Why did done did stoop? Oh, that's why done did stooped. And by stooped I mean stopped. I'm just going to start the ending because I know how to do the ending. And that's probably about it. Don't worry, boys. We're all good for the ending. It's just everything else that I need to work out in between. question is, I, I don't know if I need to obviously I need the red meat in between for the, the thing on the left Freaking things that smashy smashy. Oh, that's going like that because of that, isn't it? But 
But then if I do that, because of that. I have no idea what I'm trying to achieve here. I don't know if anybody else has got any ideas on this. I mean, I could have another, like... Going on, Lord Manfred. Yeah, I, I, I guess I gotta get like the middle of the whale, right? But I don't know why. Like, I don't know what this bit is. Is that just any blue bit? I, I don't understand. That's what I don't understand. So, any insight into that that you can give me? I will be. Much as much as grateful. That's got no way to run. Yeah, it's a whale. I knew it was a whale. It's white and dark, right? I think the fact that I've like Okay, then when it gets to here... We can bring it that way. i got to separate them off though, haven't I? Gotta separate them off. Alright, what if I did?
Okay, so the white meat... Alright, the red meat doesn't go all the way through. Where's it? So maybe if I go here... Maybe here? Okay, so... Let's run with that for a start. So, that comes to there. The conveyor in here. I'm just going to take it this way. Do I need to do that? I think I probably do. Okay, so send that that way. have this going this way sounds good treasure ghost Far enough. that. Go this way. Excellent. Hey, Flame Tusk. What's going on, buddy? How wide am I at this point? Only three wide, so one, three. It's going to want to be there, then. Take out the bottom row. Okay, and then I can do something like... Uh, I don't really have a plan at the minute. Just kind of winging it. Okay. So at the same point here... Two quests. 
I haven't played any. I haven't played anything past twelve. So, um, is that too high. Yes. All right, so I do this. Okay, so now that gives me... I press the wrong freaking button every time. One, two, three, four, five, six by six. Realm Reborn's 15, isn't it? Needs to be higher because of that. Okay, so I have my pure sort of whale steak here. Everything. Oh yeah, and I haven't done this bit, have I? Because I started again. So, here's the next thing. Do I have to separate these blocks up individually? It's going to be like a massive waste of freaking whale steak, but I think it's something like this. And then here, doing something like this. Finally, here, I could just do this. Excellent. Right. So then, I'm going to do this, this, this. And then I want sensor. Logan. And... Alright, so that sorts out that. Okay. 
At least it would do if I uh, connected up to the right thing. That would help. Okay. So now... Now I need to deal with this. So my gut feeling is... Then... Wait, can I use the outside of this? Do those two blocks count as that one and that one? Do they count as white meat or not? I can. All right, excellent. Fun dabby dozy. So should be, should be from here relatively straightforward. Something like this. Push it up. One, two, three, four. And then here I have a pusher attached to a sensor. that one pass under there though. I think it will. No. Alright, so. drops off on the first one and then if I put a thingy here almost Set us up, and we're done. You tell me why that won't work, Aaron. Fool! Should be it. 
Should do it. Okay. Why is that doing that though? Oh, it's five blocks. That's why. Oh, well, no biggie. Let's put the block count right down. I'm thinking, though, all right, based on that information, no, why, why, why am I doing that? Actually, I can just get rid of these, those two. Oh no, not that ones. Nope. Um, what if I rotated? So what if I did something like this? It's obviously too big to rotate. So, we'll just do this, copy that into here. So what if I did, get two blocks there. If I had this on the side, let's get rid of all this. Anything there, I'm going to want to take them out here and here. I'm also going to want to take them out here and here, and I'm also going to want to take them out here and here. Uh, here and here. Also going to want to take them out here. Nope. 
here and here. No, back into the lump. Sorry, I really shouldn't be optimizing so much, but. Here, can I rotate here? Come off there, rotates that way and goes into there. I'm just thinking if I um still too close to that. Hello, treasure ghost. Take it easy, buddy. There we go. Called flame tusks block count brought the cycle count down a little bit as well. Um, Think of the whales. I'm sure the overlords didn't think of the whales. Oh, so many please think of the children. So I can think of is like um had a love joy from the Simpsons doing that thing. All right, last overlord one is aerial combat shuttle. All right. So these come out, and they instantly want rotating. Uh, I don't know, Aaron. I don't know. Okay. 
That's good. And then that. Then we have a... What would I hear in here? Same set up here. I'm from the future? Wait, no, really? Jeez, why did nobody tell me? Oh, okay. We're probably going to want this over here then a bit more. Kind of bizarre that like the welder kind of gets in the way of a rotator, but hey, I didn't make the game. Let's keep things nice and symmetrical on this side. Ah, uh, so they actually need to be rotated. As well, but not that way. Other way. Okay. Actually, okay. They can be welded that way. Fantastic. So then, from here, let's get a Logan. One, two, three, four. Five will be the pusher. Story Logan. A conduit going to the sensor. And then I want this. And then I want welders. That was an epic fail. Let's try putting it over here instead. Everything needs to be one over. This, this, and this pushes that over. Like so. Raise that on there. Okay, so then when that gets there, that's going to go off to there. I want another sensor here, and that sensor is going to be linked to a pusher, which will push off like that, hopefully. That is one unit, um, but I done the goofed because I put the wrong one on top of the wrong one. Not okay, it's such a goof.
Okay, so then we're going to do that one there. rotating, it's welded, comes across, gets up, so that's going to need to be there, isn't it? Four, so it wants to be another one up. Put my plan at full. That one goes to there. Then I want a sensor there. Conduits connecting these up here. One extra. Which goes to there. Then I have my welder here. Which does that. And I should be able to have a sensor here. with a hold on eight push is going to want to be here which will push that off Hopefully. Excellent. Fantastic. Let's just make a bit of a stockpile of them. So that bit's done. I'm happy with that bit. So I need to make, as well, I need to make a 6x2 cube. It's not really a cube, it's a cuboid, I guess. And then I need to make some thrusters, three by three. Okay, so, first things first. One, two, three. Rotate them. Rotate. Move to here. One, two. Move to here. Only two welders? Are you kidding? doing that that's fine <laughs> I did see an is there's an achievement for um, did see an achievement for 
the whale thing. I don't think, I mean, I like to think most of the time I'm like one of the most patient of people, but I don't think, I don't think I've honestly got the patience to kind of do that. I'll be honest. But achievements, Aaron. Achievements. Hold on, hold on. Is there a right and wrong for this? Don't think so. Okay. So that goes over to there. That goes over to there. Once they're over here, we'll bring them over to here. One, two, three. So we'll put welders here. Next to the welder, we will have a... Actually, I don't need one. Do I? Yes, I do. Okay, so once that gets that second one, we then need to push off. So it's going to be when I get a reading on... Well, that should be fine, actually. Alright, so once I hit here, I want a sensor here, and then my pusher will go here. Sensor. Oh, what's just happened there? How would I, how would I, let's think, let's think, let's think, let's think. I don't need that at all. I could just do something like this. Okay. Okay. 
So if I have that, that. Does that rotate them enough? Yes, okay. Okay, so I need to take them over really over here. It's kind of like a bit of a holding area. Okay. When I get two, so when it gets to here, this is where I'm going to want to separate. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so my sensor's going to go here, and I'll convey it here. And then I want this. That. Rotate them straight away. Let's try not rotating straight away. And also, let's try and put in some condo in. That might help. Okay. So that does that. That does that. Now, when I get to here. Might need to elevate this slightly. Alright, let's elevate by two blocks. Excellent. Right, so that's doing that. Let's have another one here. So when this one gets pushed off, I'm going to send one of them over here. And we'll rotate here. I don't think I've used actually used the area select tool yet. So Okay. Pause there. So that's one there. The other one will drop here. Okay. 
Um, yes, I do, I believe. I think I'm sure I do. Because I merged, when I started using um, Restream, I actually had to merge stuff together to get it to all work in one feed, but... Alright, so then I'm going to do this, this, let's see where I got, actually, I'm going to do what I did last time. And just so I don't have to keep going up here to look, let me just do a quick screen grab of this. Just so I don't have to keep going back up here to um, having a look. the rotator okay so I actually need that to go to come up one further so bring this across even one more rotated they're actually being rotated there the wrong way does it work if I rotate them the other way <sighs> oh dear that's what I thought might happen Uh, how do you mean flame tusk? Oh, actually, that's a good freaking point. pound 20 <laughs> I don't know maybe sometimes I have to refresh the cash for some reason I don't know thank you very much though Aaron I appreciate that despite the mapping hell oh do you know what this could all be solved so much easier by changing that one actually Right. Knock wants all your money.
Okay, so I think what Flame Tusk was referring to is doing something like this onto something like this. And then I could do something like this. Okay, well, stop, 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 stop. So that works. Welders on the top here. And then it should automatically get pushed off, right? That's the hope. So, welders should be... drop down there is it so to avoid that issue we do this oh well does need to be one more across Does that push off? Where's going to be the best place? Over there like that, right? Okay, I'm thinking blocker. So what, you're full of the shortcuts, Flame Tusk. I applaud you for that. You've given me so many like easier ways of doing stuff in this um, so far. So thank you for that. So if I put my sensor here. Bogan. <laughs> oh. So. What actually happened there then? Oh, my, um... Is my blocker in the wrong place? I think that wants to be like that instead, right?
Oh, but then... I can't put it on there because the engine's going to come off there, Aaron. But I think, actually, I'm going to need to bring this across. So all of this is going to come over here. Jeez, what am I doing? Well, I've really made a mess of this one. Could have something like this though. Hold on. Let's go back to what I had. That's what I had, right? So this then becomes a conveyor. So it gets welded and then push it across. There we go. So... Something like that. Yep, there we go. So that doesn't actually need to be a blocker. Excellent. Okay. So then... I'm going to go here. Now we go... Three, four. Yep, yeah, call Aaron. Thank you very much. Is there a weight restriction on the lifters? I never thought about that. Okay, so I need another one. No, well, like I said uh, at the beginning of the like start head of the stream here, and um, I'm sure Flame Tusk had said um, previously that there was. Uh, the one I did previously was like the hardest level. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. So. Let's start with that, right? Let's say one, two blocks. Are resistance levels harder? Are they they're harder than resistance levels? Sorry. That's probably the 
correct grammatical phrase for that. Sensor. Pusher. I don't even need that actually. I don't even need that. Maybe it'll just push itself across anyway. What? It doesn't go high enough? Can I not go like high with this? So Pause it there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five.
try and um, okay so pause once I get something here pusher Logan There we are That's the kitty Welders. I think I have to do that. Instead. Too wide at the bottom, isn't it? Yep. All right. Is that the end of our Overlord campaign? Sure is. They weren't so bad, to be honest. I'm sure I could probably optimize, but. Hey, look at that. I beat Flame Tusk. <laughs> On the block score, at least. I'm pretty sure I can... Um, like I say, I'm pretty sure I could quite easily reduce that some more. It's going to be like every other block here, isn't it? Uh, get rid of these, although those don't matter. That work. Let's see.
Uh, I don't need goofed somewhere. Oh, I know where it is. It's here. That's my issue. It's probably best to do. That one. Take out so many blocks by just doing like this simple thing. Synced something. Oh. Whoopsie. Yeah, it kind of messes that sink up there, doesn't it? Oh. The awkward moment. You messed something up. You changed something. What have I done? I need to stop tinkering. There we go. Alright, I'll do. I could take out one more block actually. I'm quietly confident that I could do... This. Did it get me down to 130? Wrong.
Wrong finger. Wrong button. There we go. Same thing actually with the um, the one we did in the last stream. Doesn't quite go onto the, the the pad properly, but the next one kind of like push it on. I'm sure there's probably a different way you could do that, but I'm quite happy with this. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Cool. So, we have finished the Overlord campaign. On to the Resistance. Hey, I could really use your help testing out something new I made. Uh, it's a long-range teleportation device. Why you? Well, you seem to know your way around a factory. And it's time to earn your food pellets. <laughs> yes, food pellets. So we're going to have a teleportation block by the sounds of it. Sounds rather interesting. Here it is. The teleporter. For lack of a better term. You send an object in one side and it drops out the other. If the object is attached to something, it will automatically be detached as it goes through. Conceptually, it's straightforward. Technically, don't ask. Okay. Oh, so I now have an upside down conveyor. Okay, so we have them on there, then conveyors, welders, sensors, pushers, conduits, rotators, lifters, and them. Okay, so if I am um, thinking about this right, is this how it works? Is that how this works? Yes, it is. Okay. Try welding them. Might help. Also, I want that welder on there. I'm also guessing that um, I'm also guessing that the uh, there's no like recordings to find in these missions. I want to just 
check something though. Oh wow. Uses, pfft, I don't know if that was, that's uh, so amount of blocks. Footprint is slightly smaller. But um, yeah, it's not very optimal. I mean, I can do this right as well. Then what if I did... Sorry, I'm playing around now. That should equal your solution, no? Right, for block count. How on earth did Quaternary do five, man? Crazy. I know how he did five. He did this. did the cycle score though man must have been like horrendous if I can weld here though can I Yeah, I need to have a... back to the barracks. We did that one. Uh, so we got the teleporter. Teleporter, for lack of a better term, instantly moves a single block from one location to another. If blocks are attached to the other blocks, it will automatically detach in the process. It's loosely based on their skip drive technology, which isn't well understood by the resistance or the overlords. The conveyor has been extensively modified, allowing it to be installed upside down and to push blocks below it. Unlike standard conveyors, it will not explode violently when left in the this orientation for an extended period of time. Okay, didn't know that that was uh, an actual thing, but... Um, now, didn't you say something about doing the... 
the first one of each zone first. Didn't you say something like that in the YouTube comment, Flame Tusk? Alright, so. Hello, new human. I am Salvatrus, the organizer of the resistance. For centuries, the overlords have been enslaving other species. You humans were not the first. You are a relatively new addition to their menagerie. Our ultimate goal is to gather reinforcements from our original homeland and return to defeat the overlords once and for all. We recently started constructing a shipyard in orbit of a former overlord mining outpost. There, we will build the ships that will take us to our native planet, assuming we are also able to develop a working skip drive. Though most of the outpost's natural resources have been stripped, there are still many metal deposits that we can use to construct the shipyard and the ships themselves. As you are well aware, we have purloined many assets from the overlords, and so they are on edge. We need your factory building skills to wrap up construction as quickly as possible. It's time to get to work. All right. Uh, is there one here, Flame Tusk, or is that is that a hidden one, or is that just a separator between the actual puzzles and then like the workshop stuff? These bottom, don't worry, Aaron. These bottom three are um, those bottom three there are actually just like workshop and custom tests. So don't worry, don't worry. Oh, there is one there. Okay. Hello again. I wanted to introduce you to a newly developed tool, the laser. Our tools engineer Ortis, who you may have met already, took the concept of the eviscerator and somehow made it far more dangerous. It should be useful in your work here. Uh, okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, so. Oh, so that's just gonna keep them coming and coming and coming, right? Oh, and of course, what, do I have to redo this like every time? That's quite annoying. Uh, I'm not going to need a rotator this time. Alright, so let's see what this laser actually does. I mean, I'm assuming it's just going to, like, cut things out, right? Maybe it would if um, I actually had it close enough. Okay. Ah, okay. So I don't need both of them on the part on the thing. Cool. Good to know. I had a rotator there, lifter here. All right, so. So for every eight blocks. I'm going to 
do. So that's going to take off the top ones here. Do that here, really, don't I? So my sensor's going to go here. And then I want that to go there. Conduit down here. So that will take out the top ones. Then I want to... Here. I then want a laser all the way up. To get rid of all of that. Wow, knock. Just wow. That one's probably going to go in the fail hall of fame. Some more lasers here. Which will cut through the back panel. Will this work if I run the conduit like over here as well? Does that? I can't remember. Let's find out. I guess it does. What happened there though? So I want the pushers here. I need one pusher, right? Let's put it. Yeah, because it's five tall, isn't it? Yeah. Rookie mistake. Oh, 
I think I need to push her here. Ha! Huh. Take out that row. Do that, and then do this. There we go. I don't need these ones, though, do I? I know they don't count for anything anyway, but... Increase the input rate. Why haven't I done that before? You did it with one less block. One less block. See where I can do it with two less. against this. Why do they still use the same amount of blocks? Just to cut off, cut the top off.
but hold on a minute. My, my, I didn't think. I didn't think these blocks counted for anything. I, I get the impression they do count. I'm confused. So why why am I still at a block count of Why have I still got a bigger block count? Yeah, but I took out the conduits. I took out the conduits. No, I've, it's still at 84. I was looking at the block count, honestly. Look, seriously. All right, I was, I was at 84. Okay, let's... All right, so look. Uh... Huh? I'm confused. I'm so confused. Well, well, it's you. <clears throat> Hello there. I am Ortis, the tools engineer. Dave is busy designing ships, and I wanted to meet you, so I volunteered to help out. If we're going to finish this space station and build the homeward fleet, we're going to need some better tools. Lucky for us, I've been working on a couple of new inventions. You'll be helping me out, using my latest tools to build components for the space station and the fleet. And me? Well, I'll be over here, making sure nothing explodes in your face. Why, thank you. That's very generous of you. Landing alignment guide. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. We got counters. Okay. Uh, let's get everything set up here. All right, time to show off my latest creations. I call this the counter. Have you ever wanted to trigger a sensor on every other block? Well, you are in for a treat. Basically, the counter is an intelligent sensor which will trigger on every two, three, four, or however many blocks you want. There is also the painter. You can selectively paint parts of a product or material by passing it by a painter. I guess the counter is technically optional, but you definitely need to use the painter to build this. Okay. So... There's only one, right? 
Did I mess this up? What's up? What's up, Zap? Alright, anyway. You sub me? Thank you very much. I don't know. Notifications for some reason. I don't know why they aren't working. Um... There you go. Thank you very much for the <laughs> Love to stack. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, guys. Make sure we give love to stack a big welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. A lot of my, my notifications for some reason have been like completely and utterly abysmal tonight. I don't know why. All right. So, thank you very much. It may actually be my first sub as well. My first actual sub. So... I kind of just want to see what this does, right? Okay. Yeah, it's 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 been good. I mean, we, we had, we've had a couple of quite difficult moments. Uh, the last stream we did on Tuesday. Tuesday was our last stream on this. Um, we actually spent the entire stream just doing one puzzle, which I was a little bit mortified about personally. But um, it's not going far enough across. But yeah, no, I've been I have been enjoying this game definitely. It's uh, definitely a challenge. Okay, so we we paint that. It's all well and good. I'm not sure I'll be trying out any of the community chambers though. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Hold on. Have I got to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be there. I didn't want to raise it kind of here. So that means well, one, two, three. And that one's going to be okay. So it needs to be one lower. Oh, wait a second. I didn't know that. So, it actually sticks to that. Interesting. Alright, so, is there a way, once I got it like, over here, let's bring it across another one. So, on here, I just wondered if there was a way I could like rotate that to pass through.
Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. Maybe I need to. Ro maybe if I rotate this first. I'm not really sure why I would use the counter. Oh. Actually. Maybe I do see why I would need to use the counter. Rotate the other way, you saying, Flame Tusk? Uh. I'm doing it right. See, what I'm planning on doing is... Can I rotate this any earlier? Okay. So... Now that I have that, if I put a conveyor that direction... Then I put on this. That will get all that painted. But I need to paint the middle one. So how do I paint the middle one? The only thing I can think... I don't know if it's a bit of a... This may be crazy, but so it's going to push that up. I don't think that will work. So, what I was thinking was if I Actually, 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 actually. Uh, maybe the other way. So, what if I did here? Okay. Like I said, this is going to be bit weird so I need to go on two
Alright, I've just gone too many. One too many. And then what if here I had lifter? Okay, and then I just need to push it out of the way. So when I get a block here, and block here, and then I can do this, oh, actually. Probably going to want to bring it Yeah, of course, yeah, I don't need to worry about the It's going to hamper the solution anyway Okay Let's push that up I keep forgetting about the inverted, the, the inverted conveyor So where does this one need to go? So I think this should be okay. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. All right, a bit more. The lift is keeping it up. One, two, three. Ten seconds delay. Uh, sorry about that, flame tusk. I mean, the other thing I could do... Two, three, four, five, six... The other thing I could have done... Do you think I should go... I was contemplating it. Uh, you think I can do that? Just means that I have to...
Why don't I just do... Hi, Aaron. I could just do something like this. Oh! Oh! Oh, um... Progress is good, Aaron. We have lots of new toys to play with. Alright, so then we move it across, rotate. Okay. So... Right, rotating the wrong way. Uh, to be fair, I, I haven't really been having that many hints. Um, if I'm completely honest. Will that do it? Uh, if I did that as well, that would force it to go over, wouldn't it? Pretty sure. My conveyor setup there is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh... Oh, it's this one, isn't it? I think. Oh, no. Uh, uh, stop, stop, stop. 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 Let me do this. Thank you. That should work. That should be it now. He says. There we go. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, but I can't um it won't it won't um it won't handle a high input rate though. So yeah, that's not particularly great. Because you, you don't have to worry too much about the input rate. Also, I don't think I need these two conveyors there. If I'm honest. Don't think I need that one either. No, I didn't need to. But I mean, I don't know. It, it seems weird that they introduced the counter in on this level. Because then in his introduction, he goes on to say um, something along the lines of, oh, actually, I, you, you probably won't even need it. I find it very bizarre that they kind of um, 
that he kind of introduced it in this level when he's saying you don't actually need to use it. So I, I would have thought for a tutorial and like a new block, they would have made forced you use the new block to give you more of an insight as to how to actually use it. But um, <sighs> yeah, not bad. Um, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm probably going to call it there for tonight. Um, so when we come back on... When we're back again, we're back Wednesday night will be our next stream. Um, we will go back to the heist. Uh, so we've got three to do on there. Then we've got four, one, two, three, four, five, six to do on Production Zone 1. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five to do in that, plus potentially that. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate the support, as ever. Um, links on screen. If you haven't seen them or been to them already, thank you very much to Love to Stack as well. I appreciate the sub. Thank you very much, buddy. Um, but, yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening, morning, whatever sort of time of day it is for you. And um, until next time, see ya.